it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mother's Day project um, where you have the word mom or grandma and then it's knocked out in the middle and you can have all the names of the grandchildren or the children. So let's get started. The first thing is I know it's a very popular font so I'm going to take you to show you Defont. So this is Defont.com. I get a ton of fonts on here. So do a lot of people. Um, the font that you're looking for is I Love Glitter. So go ahead and type that in and it's this one right here. And it's gonna give you, I'll show you all the different ways. But um, let's look at this font really quickly so you can see. It's got that connecting heart and then it has the glyphs at the end, okay? So all right, let's go into Design Space after you download this. Uh, once you download it and you install it to your computer, you need to make sure that Cricut is closed out. So Design Space is closed out. Once you reopen it, it will be available in Design Space, okay? So let's go into Design Space. Here is my project. And let's go to text. In your text box, we're gonna change the font to I Love Glitter. Okay, so here that is. And I'm gonna show you how to do it now, okay? So this is the one that you see all over the place on Etsy, Pinterest. So you want the little glyph beforehand that's gonna be your square bracket, okay? So that's to the right of the letter P if you look down at your keyboard. So I'm gonna do the left square bracket, okay? And then I'm going to do Charlotte, okay? And then um, I'm gonna do the, I think that's what it is, okay. So the heart right there to connect the two names, that is, you're gonna hit Shift and the backslash key because it's the, it's the straight line up and down. So it's it's the third key to the right of the letter P. So when you go to the right of the letter P, you have left bracket, left square bracket, right square bracket, and then you have that slant, right? So you're gonna hit shift and that slant key, you're gonna get the heart. <laughs> then I'm gonna type in uh, another name, okay? Then I want the end swish, that's gonna be your right square bracket. So um, there you have it, okay? So let's say this is the name, and I'm gonna type out grandma. And this font, you wanna change it so that it's, um, uh, it gives you a really bold difference, right? So you can go to Impact. I've seen Times New Roman. Let's do Times, here we go. Okay, and we'll do grandma. Or grandmother, okay. Um, and you know what? We should do it in caps. I'm trying to think of how I've seen it. Okay. So it's usually like this, right? And then you have that knockout. Now, with the knockout, what I would say is it's nice to have um, an offset. So you're going to, well, I'll show you. <laughs> All right. Let's take the name. I'm just going to show you because I think it's easier. And then once you see it, I'm going to go to offset. And we can do a thin offset or a, you know, a thick one. With the way grandma is, I wanna do kind of a thin one. I'm gonna change this to 0 0.10. Hit a tab so that it updates and it applies so that we can see what that looks like. And I'm gonna hit apply, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it somewhere in here, okay? Now I'm going to just, I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna copy and paste and move it over here because I'm going to show you a different option, okay? So let's say we like this. What you could do is you want to grab the two and you want to align center so that we know it's right in the middle and everything's lined up, okay? And then I'm going to slice it. And what that does is it gives me this open space so that when I put this in, it's easier to read everything, okay? Now, Grandma's kind of smushed, right? So what I would say is, and this might be easier to see if we did it in different colors, because usually, mm, what just happened there? Where did I, oh, I somehow moved it all the way over. Um, let me move this back up. I'm gonna change the colors so you can kind of see, uh, where is this, like, like, where does this go? Hold up, why am I struggling here? Oh, there we go. Gosh, it's all the way over here. Okay, I'm gonna change that to, let's say, uh, purple, and then we'll do this in black. It's a little bit easier to see. Okay, let's get rid of this. And 
let's bring this back, okay? I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna make this longer. It's still grandma, right? It still looks good. But now I'm going to grab these two. You can either center it, so let's go to align and center it. But if you don't like where it is, you want to center it so that it's in the middle, but you can scoot this down a little bit if you want to do it down here or right in the middle, okay? Um, well, I don't know. Let's try it right here and see what that looks like. Let's slice that out. So now we have this. So grandma is a little bit easier to read here, right? And then I'll move this down here. Oops, wrong one. Why do I always, it's so hard for me to line things up there. So you could do that. Oh my gosh, I did it again. That to me is easier to read. So it's clearly grandma and then all the names. Um, so I like that and we can change, let's see, let's get rid of these. Um, let's go and try a different font so that you can see what that looks like. So, um, let's go up to the beginning and see, cause I thought I saw a really good, like thick font. Um, I'm just going to try this. Uh, whoops. Mother. Does anyone see mother? Probably not, huh? I'm gonna do mommy. <laughs> if I made a shirt for myself, this is what it would say. It would be mommy. That's what my daughter calls me. And I'll go to I Love Glitter. And I'm just gonna do Charlotte's name. So I'm gonna do the left square bracket. Whoa. Charlotte, and then the right square bracket, and there we have that. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to stretch this out, okay? So I'm going to unlock it and make it skinny like that. Okay, now this, I'm going to do an offset, and you can change the offset to, you know, again, whatever you like. I always lean towards the thinner things these days, so I'm going to keep it at 0.10. I'm going to apply it, and then... I'm gonna move this in, grab these two and align center. Okay, and then I'm going to slice it out. So now I have mommy sliced out. We'll move this, we'll delete that, move this back up. And I'm gonna change this to dark black just so that it's easier to see. And then I'm gonna change this to Maybe a blue. Would that be easier? All right, let's see what that looks like now. See, so you can play around with it, but that's how I would do it. All right, I hope that was helpful. It is an, I mean, ever since the updates with um, offset and kerning, it's so much easier to do everything in Design Space. Oh, but before mentioning kerning, before we go, I wanna make sure that you see this. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so we can really see this, okay? Right now, they're all pushed up against each other, right? So I'm gonna duplicate this so that you can see this a couple of different ways. Um, I'm gonna also change this color to a light blue, okay? And then I'm gonna ungroup it. And then let's see, I'm gonna bring this up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna zoom in even more. Okay, do you see how that little swoosh, it cuts into the C, right? And then I'm gonna bring this C, um, I'm gonna move this to the back, arrange. So you might not see it on the screen right now, but what actually is gonna happen is if when you go to cut this on your Cricut machine, every letter is going to cut out its full piece. So this swish is gonna cut into the C. This C is gonna cut into the H. And you're gonna have cut marks in your HTV. 
it will look way worse in the lighter colors because you're going to be able to see every cut. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let me move this to the back. So look at my A. My A is going to look horrible. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you grab this and you weld it. When you weld it, this whole thing becomes one. And I'm so glad I just did that because did you see what happened to the E? So what you want to do is you want to un um, undo this because the E closed up, right? The inside of the E. So I'm going to undo it. Now, some people will say it's because it's too close and we need to move this E over, okay? So I'm going to show you what that looks like. If I move it over a little bit like this, let's see if that works, okay? So we're going to weld it. And now it works, but I don't like it. It has that little extra gap right there, right? Like it it's welded, but it looks a little a little messy right there. No one else, no other letter has it. So what I would recommend is to undo it. Okay, so it's undone. Make this gigantic, okay? So the width right now is almost nine inches. I'm gonna make it um, maybe even 25. Okay, so I'm gonna make it 25. I'm gonna weld it. And let's see what it looks like at 25. Did it close out my E? It didn't close out my E. And it's, oh, I didn't move it. I forgot to move it back. That's why I'm like, wait a minute. Why does it still look clunky? Because I forgot to move it back. All right, let's do that. Okay, so now we do this and grab it. Let's see. So see, it, it stayed open right there. So all you need to do is you need to make it really big and then you just undo it. You make it back to that small, you know, whatever it was. Like it was a little bit under nine, but I'll just make it nine inches. So you can kind of see what that looks like, okay? All right, so that was, <laughs> I'm so glad I did that because then I was able to show you the workaround because that happens quite often. All right, I hope that was helpful. I have a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, celebrating all the strong women in your lives and um, and all your support. So, all right. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys later.